Well, my name's Peter Ducker, and I'm the executive director of the HBAA. So my role is to, is to manage the business of the association and make sure that we maintain vision of our objectives and, and deliver on them um, through the year. Um, so I work very closely with the executive committee and the management committee to, uh, to be sure that as we take projects on, they fit with each other, they join together, and uh, effectively we are a cohesive and coherent organisation. Um, we set goals at the beginning of the year and through the year I, I track our progress and ensure that they're still relevant to what we want to deliver to our members. A um, very important part of what I do is I support the chairman and uh, make sure that they have what they need to, to do their job well, um, which is a very demanding role obviously for them. It's most important in these days that we deliver value to every member, whether it's an agent or a venue hotel company. And um, I take that as, as a very serious responsibility of, of, of my role. Um, another thing I do is I monitor events that are happening outside and in business and in, in, in around that, that impact on our members. Um, TOMS, the Tour Operators Margin Scheme, is a classic example. It was a change in tax legislation that had a major impact on, uh, on the way that agents and hotels uh, do business together. One thing I've been looking at recently is the UK Bribery Act, which comes into force in April this year. I've been looking at it because it places a responsibility on every company to ensure that their practices and processes eliminate any possibility of bribery and corruption. Now, bribery and corruption doesn't exist amongst our members. I'm quite sure about that but I know that their clients will want to be able to check and see that they have processes in place to ensure that it never happens because that's what they want their suppliers to do. Um, so we're preparing research and a report on that that will be available to members so they can understand exactly what they should be doing in best practice because like many associations, we think best practice is what we are about delivering. One thing I'm responsible for is the HBAA Code of Conduct, which is regarded as the blue ribbon defining best practice in matters to do with hotels, meetings and events and their booking for clients. As part of the code, we provide for arbitration when there is a dispute, but thankfully our arbitration tends to be sorted out at the very early stages and it really just requires a conversation when there is a difference of opinion to reach a good a settlement. More important is that we provide a helpline for members who need clarification or want advice on a particular situation to ensure that they stay within the code of conduct. And I find that a very rewarding part of what I do because uh, I, I meet a wide range of issues and problems that uh, people are addressing. And because the code is so well written and so well defined, I'm able to help them and advise them um, what is best practice. I represent the HBAA on a number of bodies and organisations, um, particularly to do with meetings and events. And I'm very pleased that I sit on the BVEP, the Business Visits and Event Partnership, which is where the industry collectively meets to discuss issues. Um, I also get involved in representations to government when they're going through consultation processes on matters which relate to the hotel booking agency sector.